Good morning, beloved children of God. In the beauty of this new day, a beauty we see with our eyes and hear with our ears, we experience the goodness of God. We have gathered to praise God and give thanks for the gift of this and all days. I wonder if any of you ever feel inadequate to the challenges you face. I wonder if you ever feel like your best isn't good enough, like your strongest isn't strong enough to contend with the sometimes overwhelming circumstances of life. I do trust that I'm not the only one. Well, the scripture of our faith has something to say to us when relentless self-doubt threatens to consume us, and, and we hear those words of scripture best when we are gathered in worship. So welcome to Second Presbyterian Church, a welcoming community of faith where Jesus Christ transforms lives. This morning, I want you to know about how to engage in the life of Second right now, including some new opportunities in the days ahead. For all of these, we invite you to visit secondchurch.org for more information on every opportunity, worship, events, and, and the many ways that we are holding faith together and growing deeper as the body of Christ. This month, throughout July, those opportunities will inc include virtual communion, Zoom gatherings of various types, video premieres, ways to serve our neighbors, and virtual drop-ins with members of our pastoral staff. All of this is outlined online and also in our Take a Second emails, which we invite you to sign up to receive. This morning, I do want to share with you a very exciting announcement that the ses session of Second Presbyterian Church has called for a virtual congregational meeting two weeks from today on Sunday, July 19th. Between now and then, you'll learn lots more about the business of this meeting and the vital role that you, the members of Second Presbyterian Church, will play in this important and faithful work. For this morning, I only share that the purpose of this meeting will be to act on the recommendation of our associate pastor nominating committee to call an associate pastor of engagement to Second Presbyterian Church. Again, more information is coming on how to be a part of that historic day in the life of our congregation. And even as we anticipate the joyful news and the newness that it promises, we also have the chance this morning to reflect with gratitude on two faithful servant leaders who have offered their very best to Second Presbyterian Church for nearly 50 years combined. On Thursday of this last week, Catherine Carvey began a new chapter in retirement after nearly 20 years of ministry at Second. And on Thursday, Reverend Brian Shivers celebrated his first 30 years as part of this extraordinary staff team. The deep commitment and love that both Catherine and Brian offer to Second is a testament to their God-given call, and it is a gift to our church, one that compels and inspires us to serve more faithfully and care more deeply. And so I invite you in the comments on Facebook right now to offer words of gratitude and testimonies to the impact of Catherine Carvey and Brian Shivers in your life and in the life of our church. Finally, this morning, I would like to take a brief moment of recognition on a holiday weekend as we celebrate the freedom and the liberty that we enjoy and too often take for granted we are also reminded this day in this sacred space that human freedom, enshrined in our founding documents and commemorated by families across the country this weekend, is not a human invention. It is an idea that originates in the mind of God, who created us for freedom, and who longs for all of creation to be set free from bondage. We who rightly celebrate the creed that shaped a nation those 244 years ago must also be about the work of making it true. This day, may we recommit ourselves to the responsibility of freedom 
so eloquently stated by the Apostle Paul, you were called to freedom, but do not use your freedom as an opportunity for self-indulgence, but through love become servants of one another. Beloved, hear this good news. God's strength is sufficient for our weakness. Let us prepare to worship the God who makes us strong. <laughs>